Celestia has been going absolutely parabolic ever since it launched, when it launched at below two US dollars and just overnight crossed $9, currently at $8.77. But you can actually see that Tia is almost on parity with Atom when it comes to price. We can see that when it comes to the staked amount, actually Tia is now the largest coin in Cosmos, which means it has the largest economic security, even though it only has 44.3% in um, the staking ratio. Um, fully diluted market cap is almost 9 billion, 8.77, because the total supply is 1 billion coins. But the um, actual market cap right now, based on the circulating supply, is only 1.28 billion, so still less than half of the Cosmos Hub and Atom. And Celestia is still ranked 53. So it still looks like there is room to grow for Tia, even though I will say, if you look at the chart, it's been up only forever, pretty much since it launched just over a month ago. So at some point, I think like this has to consolidate. And I don't think right now is a perfect uh, entry point to ape in. Um, if you held your airdrop until now, congratulations. It's been a very, very nice one. Actually, I always kept you guys updated here on my public portfolio challenge, my um, CETO portfolio here that I started almost two years ago um, when the bull run just ended. And back then, obviously, the landscape was very different. But we've been consistent. We've been always sharing updates here. I've always been very transparent with you guys. And we got a very nice TI drop, which to be honest right now is the largest position in that portfolio. We got 257 TI for just a few Atom. This was actually around less than 100 Atoms or something that I had staked. Um, I got over 80 more Atoms for free because I also got the Pyth airdrop here, which is why now we have almost uh, over 200 Atoms staked. Um, and also for staking Osmo, but you can also see this is 2,000, just over 2,000 Osmo that were staked. And we got this very nice TIA airdrop that is now doing really well. And the purpose of today's video is actually to talk about the upcoming TIA airdrop season, because I think that TIA is a coin that was gifted, but it is a gift that will keep on gifting more airdrops, right? So we got a TIA airdrop. Now I think we're getting a lot of airdrops for staking TIA. So if you want to understand how the Celestia ecosystem looks like, then you should go to celestia.org forward slash ecosystem. Let's actually go through some of the categories here and look at some of these projects and whether they're potentially going to do an airdrop. So in the category, rollups as a service, I think those are very hot candidates because those rollups or Ethereum L2s are actually using Celestia. So it makes sense for them to actually um, release their token or distribute their token um, partially also to the TIA staker community, right? Um, for example, Eclipse, which we've also had an interview with Neil just around a year ago. Um, I actually also am an uh, early investor into Eclipse. Um, the other ones I'm not as familiar with, but Eclipse is the one that is bringing the Solana virtual machine to Ethereum, which makes it Ethereum's fastest L2. Um, so this one is very interesting. And I think the likelihood for Eclipse to launch with an airdrop for TS stakers is very, very high. The other ones, to be honest, I'm not as familiar with. And if you are, please let me know what you think. Caldera, for example, seems to be a rollup provider for the Arbitrum Orbit and the OP stack. So this is also definitely very interesting. If you go further here on Snapchain, for example, you can also, with one click, understand everything that they're doing. For example, they're deploying or providing ZK rollups as a service, which focus on game or DeFi applications. So this is also very interesting. And then you also have Outlayer and Vistara. So in this category, rollups as a service, I definitely think there's going to be a couple of airdrops. We also have shared sequencer networks, Astria, Fairblock, and Radios. Settlement layers, which I also think um, those that haven't launched yet are definitely going to do an airdrop for the TS staker community. Bera Chain, I think is very likely and also one of the most um, promising projects and launches in Cosmos um, for, for the next year. Also Dimension, which is also 
most likely going to do an airdrop for the TS Staker community. Layer N, I'm not as familiar with. Saga, um, you've been hearing about Saga now for a very long time. They're also exploring to do an airdrop and most likely also for the TI community alongside the Atom community uh, is my personal is my personal thought process here. And Neutron, obviously, they already have their token launch, which only launched with an airdrop for the Atom community. So out of these, I would say very hot candidates, this category of settlement layers. Um, Rollup frameworks, obviously, those are just general tech stacks. When it comes to VMs, um, these are also just general um, yeah, virtual machines, Cartesi. Um, it's also a project that's been live for a long time. I actually remember them from like 2018. And um, I also think um, they should add here um, the, the Move VM and uh, Movement Labs, which is not here yet. Uh, when it comes to Crest Chain, this is an interesting one because some of them are actually already live, like Axelar, for example. Um, Squid is an application on Axelar. Skip, as far as I know, they don't want to actually do a token. Um, Polymer. Um, has been in the works for a long time. They also work on bringing IBC to Ethereum and Hyperlane. Keep Hyperlane in mind because actually we have some, some off on that. And Orb, I'm not as familiar with them. The gaming category could be another interesting one where we could see some airdrops. And then also here when it comes to infrastructure, Manta Network is actually, as I was told, going to be the first token launch that will distribute part of their supply to the TS Deco community. Um, and as far as I know, their last raise was at a $500 million valuation, which means that this airdrop could actually be substantial, but I have no further insights here. So this is just me um, guessing and um, yeah, sharing uh, the information I personally have. Um, but yeah, and then there's a couple of others here. I also don't think all of these will have tokens, but the point really is here that there is an active ecosystem. And obviously, because of TIA being a very hot coin right now, maybe the first couple of projects to distribute their token to the Celestia community is going to get a lot of hype. It's going to get a lot of buzz and traction and bootstraps their community faster, which in the end of the day is what this is all really about, right? It's really about airdrops are uh, user acquisition strategies, right? It's not there to make us rich, even though, of course, in, in TIA's case, and every now and then we get these Juicy airdrops that are worth four or five figures sometimes, um, which is very cool to see. And eventually also that's um, what most of you guys are probably here for is to get some some juicy um, juicy high value airdrops. But honestly, I also think that in some cases, it just makes sense to actually use the products or at least stake, um, take part in governance and those kind of things. In TS case, for example, I actually staked most of my airdrop that I got. We also did this here with the um, with the C2 public wallet. Also, I want to show you real quick how to actually stake natively on-chain your TIA tokens and get 17.57% staking APR. The best way, to be honest, in the fully decentralized world is if you do it through Osmosis. There is decent um, TIA liquidity on Osmosis. So you can just do that here with your... Cosmos coins through IBC. And of course, TIA is also trading on most centralized exchanges, such as Binance, for example, OKX, Qcoin, Coinbase, Gate.io, Bybit, right? Um, Kraken even, it's here. So you can also get it on all these exchanges, even Crypto.com. And then what you do is you send it to your Kepler wallet. Celestia, of course, as a Cosmos SDK chain, is fully IBC compatible and hence also um, very user-friendly if you are a native cosmonaut. And then what you do here is you just click on stake, you choose your validator, avoid 100% commission validators. That means you actually don't get any staking rewards. So avoid these, avoid actually the top 10 or even top 20 because those are, um, yeah, if you delegate to them, you're just centralizing the chain and the voting power. Um, so maybe stake outside of that. Obviously, I'm very biased because we're running a validator ourselves with Stake C2, so much appreciated if you if you delegate to us. But other than that, just generally, if, especially with the airdrops in mind, um, do not delegate to um, zero percent validators or to a hundred percent validators. Of course, any centralized business don't delegate to them. Right? For example, Bitcoin Swiss is a centralized business. Polychain is a VC. 
Um, also, in, in that sense, a centralized business. I'm not sure if there's some centralized exchanges like Kraken. Like sometimes you see this and you think like, okay, I trust Kraken, I trust um, Binance if they're running a node or Coinbase, but don't delegate to these on any chain because most of the times when airdrops are given out, they actually exclude centralized organizations from receiving those airdrops. So don't delegate to them. Don't stake your, or stake, it's not actually staking, your TR coins on any centralized provider, whether that's Crypto.com or Binance, if they offer you any APR, go natively on chain, your keys, your coins, your keys, your airdrop, even more important sometimes for, for some of you guys. So do that. Don't let your coins sit on a centralized exchange. Um, this is really the worst thing you can do. And that's really it. And that's how you maximize your eligibility for airdrops. Also, please always be on top of the things. That's why I walked you through where you can find these projects, right? Go there, follow them on Twitter, put on also your uh, notifications because sometimes projects that give out an airdrop actually have short claim windows where you need to be active. You need to take uh, part, you need to be on top of things because if you miss out on that claiming window or if you need to do any mission or do anything to show a sign of life and that you're an active user, you don't want to miss out on that, right? A lot of people, unfortunately, missed out on the TI airdrop itself because there was just a short window where you could actually claim it and you had to claim it in that time frame. Otherwise, you didn't get the airdrop. So please be active. And I told you earlier to keep Hyperlane in mind, and we got No Sleep John from Hyperlane here, um, as far as I understand um, his bio, um, who says tier airdrop season early next year. So, and this is quote tweeting my tweet from yesterday, where I said, yes, there are a couple airdrops for tier stakers in the works. We also got one that is definitely confirmed. I mentioned this earlier to you as well. Movement Labs, you've been watching my, my episode, hopefully with Rushi, the founder, um, first, uh, second Shisha Sito episode in-person interview here in Dubai, where I asked him directly, are you guys going to do an airdrop? And he said, yes. And also now that they announced M2, which is the first move VM based L2 on Ethereum that uses Celestia for data availability and also implements Cosmos IBC, they will be doing an airdrop for their MOV token or coin. And I guess most likely this is also going to be for TI stakers and also a couple of other communities, right? So maybe the L2 community on Ethereum, um, maybe even um, some other Cosmos communities, who knows? But let's see. Anyway, so those are my top candidates for airdrops. To summarize, Movement Labs definitely going to do an airdrop. Manta Network, very likely to do an airdrop. And apparently the first one that is going to launch their token. Then we also have Eclipse the fastest L2 deploying the Solana virtual machine. Um, we have Hyperlane that was also teasing an airdrop. Parachain, also a hot candidate for an airdrop. Same for Saga, also very hot candidate for an airdrop. And also Polymer, which I think might make sense for them also to do an airdrop for the TIA community. And I'll give you two more. I'll give you two bonus ones. One is Milky Way, which is a liquid staking protocol that is tailored to Celestia. So Milky Way is also very, very likely to drop their, I think it's called Milk Token to um, TI Stakers. And then also we got Fuel Network, which is actually a project that was founded by John Adler, who is the co-founder of Celestia, right? So I personally think, to be honest, Celestia has $100 billion market cap potential, fully diluted market cap, which is a roughly 10 or 11 X from here. So that would put it at $100 per coin. And my benchmark here, to be honest, very simple, is because ADA, Cardano ADA, reached a $100 billion market cap in 2021. So this is mind blowing to me. I wouldn't even be surprised if Tia would just gain massive traction, have a lot of successful rollups deployed, L2 is on Ethereum, Eclipse going to be a big success, Dimension, Barra Chain, Saga, all these projects, a lot of gaming projects that will be deployed using Celestia for data availability. And then reaching, you know, TR reaching a $200 billion market cap. Even that, to be honest, is on the table in my view. Um, never underestimate how high crypto can go in a bull run. Same how you should never underestimate how low we can fall in a bear market. And to be honest, it's been brutal. The past two years have been brutal. 98, 99% down. Some coins went straight to zero, 
Luna or old Terra Classic, uh, UST, Celsius, um, FTX, all these coins were absolutely drained and um, cooked in the bear market, right? Um, so yeah, it is what it is. Crypto is wild, wild west. Be cautious out there. Never go all in. Never chase pumps. Also, don't try to always perfectly trade the market. You will never, ever be able to do that. No one has ever been able to do that continuously. You might be lucky sometimes and catch a good trade or trade an airdrop very, very nicely. For example, those that held their TIA um, until now uh, and didn't sell at $2. Then there's other airdrops where it is the exact opposite, right? The exact opposite to the TIA chart. And it's just down only from when they launch. And then you wish you sold earlier, but you held on to it. But in the next days, I'm going to publish my Cosmos Airdrop Mega Guide, my updated version of upcoming airdrops in Cosmos. And you don't want to miss out on that.